Hi there, this is Joe from Shop 2 and I'm joined by Dan and we're just going to do a quick preview of Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 as we've been playing the beta recently and uh, it's quite fun if not a little chaotic <laughs> That came around quite quick for a sequel considering the first one's relatively new, isn't it? Uh, how new is it? Uh, but I, I can't really think how long it came out I mean, I know it came out sooner Yeah Sort of Less, less far away in time on the PlayStation 4 because obviously it came out on Xbox One first oh, so there Xbox was a rather yeah. large gap so that's probably what you're thinking but yeah, yeah it's it's like a bigger sequel in every respect though but yeah, yeah uh, you, the thing about it is when you first start the maps is absolutely massive but you, you start in this uh, backyard battleground which is like a sprawling map where the plants and zombies battle to control the middle ground between their two bases. And this acts as your sort of hub, so from there you can go into your campaigns and your your multiplayer and stuff like that. So you can wander around there if you want. So it's quite a good place if you just want to get used to the new characters that are there. Okay. It gets you sort of it can sort of help you sort of wean yourself into it. But, uh, so what's, what's, what new characters have you got there now then? Uh, well, new characters, let me see, there's quite a few here. On the plant side, there's one called Citron, which is a sort of giant orange-like character. And he can he's sort of round, so he can he can bowl sort of zombies over, like a bowling ball. Oh, okay, cool. And he's got useful sort of weapons. He's got a beam weapon, which is quite good. And he's also got a shield, which almost looks like a riot shield. So he sort of runs along firing and he's got a shield in front of him. So that's one of the new plants characters. There's also Rose, who's a sort of mage. And she can turn enemies into goats. <laughs> Sweet. And because I get killed with one of the goats, I'm going, where the heck did that goat come from? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's going on? And uh, there's also Colonel Corn, who's like a big sort of corner cob. And he's sort of than you sweet corn he was quite good actually I quite liked him I quite liked some of his moves he sort of throws his grenades and stuff and he's got he's got other quite good moves as well so that's the sort of three main uh, new plant characters they're, they're quite good actually they're, they're quite fun uh, and on the zombie side you've got super brains who's like a sort of superman sort of superhero parody character right who's sort of He's wearing a sort of super outfit, super, super, whatever you call it, superhero outfit. Spandex normally. So he goes up and punches you and stuff. He's got a, quite a strong close combat character. You've got Captain Deadbeard as well, who's got a remote control parrot. And and you've got the Imp and Zed mech. Uh, so I was going to, like, uh, if you think of uh, mass effect it's got grass effect you have this big sort of uh, giant robot suit with a sort of mass effect markings on it okay so uh, I, I noticed that once when i was playing as well that's what's ea court isn't it so they're gonna have a little nod every now and then aren't they yeah so but in terms of obviously it's the multiplayer beta so yeah. you're kind of stuck to modes like team deathmatch kill confirmed the sort of Search and Destroy and Domination. Obviously, they're not called that. It's called Team Vanquish. Team Con Vanquish Confirmed. Gnome Bomb and Sur... Uh, am I going to be able to say this? Suburbanation. That wasn't a bad attempt. <laughs> there's Seeds of Time as well, which involves plants defending their base from zombies. Uh, so, there's something like that. Except it's the zombies defending their base from the plants. So yeah, so there we go. So that's kind of in terms of the modes. Uh, Herb assault. That's a that's the one I was thinking of, where the, which is a bit like gardens and graveyards, except the plants attack and the zombies defend. So, but yeah, there's plenty of new maps in the beta. Uh, there's even one sort of set in the moon with all gravity. So Good idea. Yeah, uh, a bit different. What I would say about it, like from first impressions, is that the maps is quite huge. Whereas the original game I found it was quite fun because you could jump in, you could get to you know the maps quite easy. There was no, there was no like a 
nothing really confusing about it before you just picked it up, picked a team and played and it was really fun. This time they seem to have expanded it out a lot. Right. So it can be very confusing at first. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Because the, the maps are so busy, I think it's a good word for it. There's all this stuff going on in the background and portals and all sorts all sorts of things happening in the background. You've got big robots moving about and stuff and it's just that it can be quite uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Overwhelming at first where you just there's just so much going on in front of your eyes you've just got what's going on? <laughs> so yeah that's what I would say about it. I'd, I'd say it probably take quite a while to sort of settle into it and and start enjoying it mm. for the game that it's supposed to be. I mean, another thing I noticed is you've got these cards. Now you've got Battlefront, you have the star cards. Yeah, Well, yeah. their special abilities kind of act like that. So you have three special abilities that you do in Battlefront, and you use them, and then the card runs down, and then okay. it refreshes again. So that's something else I might mention. But yeah, that's that's what I've noticed about it all so far. It's I'd say so far so good. I mean, looking forward to talking a lot more about it in our review when it comes out next month but yeah so far so good it's definitely worth trying although there'll be tens today so yeah. that today being monday the 18th of january so yeah but check it out thanks for joining us for this we'll see you next time bye bye